Hello everyone, are you tired of disoriented data in your worksheet or you want to move a misplaced data to its particular position? Then I am here to solve your problem. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we will learn 7 methods on how to move rows in Excel without replacing. In our first case, we want to use shift key to move rows in Excel without replacing. Here we have name, age and gender of employees in column B, C and D. Here we have sorted the data according to their gender. But there is row 10 where the data have been misplaced. So we want to move this data to our actual place. At first we have to select the misplaced row then we have to press shift in the keyboard. Now by using mouse we have to place the misplaced row to our actual place. So this is how it is done. Now we have moved the rows using shift key. We use the insert option to move rows in Excel without replacing. At first we have to select the row we want to move. After that, we have to right click on it and then we have to select the cut option. And now we have to go to the row where we want to place our data. Then we have to again right click on it and now press the insert cut cells option. Now you will see your data have been placed according to your wish. We can also use the sorting option to move rows in Excel without replacing. To do that, at first we have to select the whole data range by pressing Ctrl plus A in the keyboard. After that, we have to go to the data option and now go to the sort option. In the sort option, as we are trying to get the data according to the gender, so select sort by option as gender, then in the order section, you can select as you want. So, after selecting it, you can press OK option. After that, you will see the data have been sorted according to your wish. We want to use the move and copy option. To do that, at first, we have to select a row where we want to insert a new row. After right click on it, you will have an insert option. You have to click on it. So there will be a new inserted row. Now you have to select the misplaced row then press the Ctrl plus X option and now go to the new cell and press Ctrl plus V to copy paste it. Now you'll see your data have been placed where you want to by using moving and copying row. We have used it for a single row but we can also use it for multiple row. In our new data sheet, we'll use the same formula but just for multiple rows. At first, you have to go to the row where you want to insert multiple rows, then right click on it and press the insert option. Now multiple rows have been inserted. Select the multiple rows you want to move, then again press the Ctrl plus X option like the previous method and now go to the cell and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Now you'll see we have copied and pasted the cells according to your wish. So you can use the same method for multiple rows also. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelademy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing us for more content like this.